Okay, I just finished recording a demo about UV unwrapping and really wanted to kind of create just a separate one that's um, really about the apply transformations uh, and why that's so important. So I have a, uh, I have a, a lock here that I, I created, like a padlock. And I was gonna go ahead and texture it. So let's just take a look at this really quickly. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make a new texture for it. We'll just call this padlock body, um, like that. Okay. And we're gonna take shading. And one of the things that I always like to do is uh, I will um, try and start with a um, a checkered texture, which will just kind of help me see distortion. And I think this is gonna be really important. Uh, so that people can see what's really going on. So here's my checkered texture. It actually doesn't look too shabby, but you can see how the sides and the tops are not really the right um, um, the right size. The scaling is, is really off. So let's go to our UV editor, and you can kind of see what happened is the when I made it, I made it out of a cube, and the cube came with it, the UV unwrapping the way it is. Uh, with a cube, and I cut a hole in it. So let's let's just open this up here, uh, and I, I have a cylinder inside and everything like that. So you can just see it's all messed up in there. I've already done all my seams along the corners here, and then I want to seam back here uh, and everything like that. So let's just select this, and I'm going to hit unwrap. And it kind of comes in, but you can see how messed up it is. And I was I was looking at that. I'm going, why is it so messed up? It's really distorted. Uh, it's all it's all messed up. Like how what? And then I realized that once I had made some of these kind of um, alterations, if you will, to the model, it does mess up a lot of the scaling of the individual faces and vertices. It really does. It, like it kind of messes them up. So when I'm taking a look at this, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I did my UV unwraps correctly. Like. Why is it looking like this? Why is it looking like this? Well, the reason being is once I started modifying and stretching the mesh, um, squishing it, cutting a hole in it here, and then you know pushing this back, and then adding my subdivision surface modifier, although I don't think that actually has anything to do with what I've done, um, but my loop cuts aren't symmetric, or it's not that they're symmetrical, but my faces, they're not like all the same size, and um, and so you can see I have a bunch of loop cuts here, and it's, it's almost as like it's trying to keep these rectangles, you know, the, the texture, um, the same size with each loop cut. Or maybe I should say with each ver uh, face, it's trying to keep like the texture uh, uniform size inside each face. But because the faces are smaller, it's like squishing it. So uh, what you can do is very simple to kind of alter this. If you're having major problems with your texture and you're seeing this, one of the first things to try, um, well, first off, if you're just using your regular texture and you're getting this and it looks really distorted, the first thing I do, so tip number one, the first thing I do is I get a checkered texture and I make sure that checkered texture is seamless and that it's square. So each one of those checkers is a square, not rectangles, but only squares and in that way, I know if something's really distorted. And then the second thing I do is you get out of edit mode and then you hit control A. And then you're going to apply. That's control A for apply. You're going to apply all transformations. And so just take a look at this and you can kind of see the way the UV unwrap is here. Okay? You can just kind of see the way that is, right? You can see how it's it's there's things that are curved. This a uh, hole that I've cut out is not in any way, shape, or form the the same uh, dimensions, at least width times height, like, you know, the same aspect ratio as this is. This is all distorted. Everything's kind of like, you know, really whacked out. So what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're going to change it. So if I get out of textured mode here and I hit control, or I mean edit mode. So if I get out of edit mode, got to say that right. And then I hit control and A, and I'm going to go to apply all transformations. This is huge, okay? Apply all transformations. It applies the object transforms of location, rotation, scale, and any other properties that you may have changed. Um, so even says modify properties such as curve, vert vertex, radiuses, font size, bone envelopes, that sort of stuff, okay? Now if I go back in here, doesn't look like it's changed. It's like, what's going on? Ah, because I haven't re-unwrapped the object. 
and that's and that's the third tip was once you do this process you have to re-unwrap your object and once you do that so I just go you and then I hit you or you can go up here to your your menu boom now all of a sudden everything looks really really good all my the cubes on my texture uh, on my texture on that checkered texture they're all basically the same size they're also in line with each other they're straight okay they're not wiggling or, or getting stretched or wavering or anything like that it's basically straight and that one small thing applying my transformations is so huge so if you have a UV texture that's the scaling is off um, or it just doesn't look right stop throw a checkered texture on there number one then number two if that checkered texture is showing you that there's more scaling and other things that are off you get out of edit mode go into object mode control a to apply all transformations get back into your object and unwrap it again and guess what nine times out of ten maybe I don't know unless you've really messed up the building of your object or or something else maybe your seams are really messed up or whatever but it, assuming that you've done everything else correctly that should fix a lot of these scaling stretching distortion issues that you might have uh, with a normal texture so anyway really fast really quick really easy unlike some of my other videos um, but hopefully this helps you um, and if it does hit the like button subscribe and thank you for watching talk to you later